What's up everyone, welcome to today's video, welcome to the Video Game Fight School channel, thank you very much for tuning in. We're going to take a different look at Suicide Squad and some of the plot twists that I'm actually predicting you might get to experience in the game. So, one thing that we got to see when we saw the gameplay trailer, which is pretty much a trailer that showed some gameplay elements that you're going to be getting in the game, and for some people I don't think they really know that some of the things you got to see here will be in the game, if not everything you've seen so far. Uh, a lot of those cutscenes that you got to see in some of the other trailers will probably be highlights that you get to visualize as the game is released. We got to see that Wonder Woman is actually a very huge part of this particular game. And I wanted to go ahead and just go point this out because I think that she might be the uh, plot twist hero of this entire game overall. Now, here is why I say that. Number one, the Suicide Squad themselves are very limited as to exactly what it is they can do you know, against a lot of the Justice League members. In fact, all four Suicide Squad members cannot even take on a character like The Flash on a good day. So thinking about how they're going to deal with him, deal with, say, Green Lantern, deal with maybe, say, other characters that are probably possessed by Brainiac will already clue you into this particular conversation that, yo, it doesn't necessarily think it doesn't necessarily seem like it's likely that they're going to be the only ones to take on the squad members themselves. And already they got to show us that we have Wonder Woman in this game. That's going to be playing a really central role. They're not only showing it from, say, oh, that gameplay side where she comes in and she's basically destroying. They're also using all kinds of fun hints. Like here, let me show you one of them because this is one that I actually thought was very cool. You see, on this particular shot, this scene where, uh, you know, King Shark is making his way uh, via some kind of brute force uh, to basically destroy a bunch of enemies down, uh, you know, the on the ground from this rooftop, you actually get to see Wonder Woman as a hero of some kind in this game. I mean, look at her. She's already, you know, she's got a poster and it's really cool. Now, Superman and the other Justice League members seem to have posters in this particular, you know, world because it appears that they were probably the heroes of this area. Everyone already knew them and people already vibed with them before Brainiac came in and corrupted them. So already we're seeing hints of some of the story and some of the different historical plot lines, uh, or I would just call it lore in a sense, that is sh you know, sharing or shedding light with the way that the whole game might be structured. And seeing Wonder Woman in the picture is now going to be the interesting advantage that the Suicide Squad members have for themselves. Because already there's a shot of her pretty much, you know, <laughs> going toe to toe with Superman himself. I thought that was very interesting in the way that they actually showcased it in one of the trailers. In fact, the way they revealed her uh, was was pretty cool to me overall. And so when you kind of consider a lot of these different aspects, you know, you get to see that, okay, this is where the plot twist is going to come around. And so I think, and this is what I'm, you know, basically predicting, that we're going to see Brainiac, in a sense, uh, you know, come to a very interesting place where the Suicide Squad members are going to get some kind of an uplift. Someone's going to come into the picture and break his stronghold on some of the heroes themselves, or someone's going to come into the picture and break <laughs> some of the heroes, uh, you know, frame of mind that's basically been taken or captured by Brainiac himself. So when you consider or think about this, this is why I think Wonder Woman is going to play a very significant role. And whoever that was that pointed a gun at Harley Quinn, I think that person is probably going to be also another surprise hero. Some people are saying it's Peacemaker. Uh, some people are saying it might be Batman. I mean, I don't necessarily know whom it is, but I think this is a very interesting plot line that we're going to see. So thinking about this game, the twists are things that we're still, um, you know, in a sense, on I don't know, we have no knowledge about what the possible twists are. But here is the biggest challenge. They haven't really revealed much. And one thing that you can pretty much say is on further examination, you realize that even though superheroes are very predictable because of a lot of the storylines and plot lines in the way that they do things, it's one of those things where you still have to look out for the plot twists that may come back around. And so I'm thinking about all of this in you know a perspective, and I can see that the big deal that, or I would say the big, um, how do I put it? The big crescendo of this game is that all of the members of the Suicide Squad in a sense, kind of seem to work together. 
There also is another plot twist that was very, very briefly unveiled in this game. And it looks like one of two characters in the entire grand scheme of things. Now, I've talked about Wonder Woman and I've also talked about, say, the Flash and Green Lantern. But here in this particular scene, I don't necessarily know who this is. If you notice, the Suicide Squad members are getting wrapped around with something that looks like a tree branch. Now, this is possibly Poison Ivy or Swamp Thing. So Swamp Thing being a very strong character himself seems like he would in no way be possessed by Brainiac. In some way, have some, um, I don't know, animus towards the Suicide Squad members and the Justice League members, but is going to look and say, in order for me to be able to keep, because Swamp Thing has his own, his own motivations. He wants to basically keep uh, you know, wildlife and the swamps, you know, safe from corruption and all of the different activities of humanity, in a sense. That's one of his motivations anyways. He might have to come to a place where he's going to intimidate these guys because, look, he just grabbed them all with, like, or whoever this is. I mean, it could be Swamp Thing, it could be Poison Ivy, but I, I'm leaning towards Swamp Thing. And he could basically go ahead and say, you know, you guys are giving me too much grief or too much trouble, but we're going to form a very uncanny alliance. Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League is about uncanny alliances. For those of you who may have been paying attention or who have followed some of the comics, that's what we've seen as the theme. I made a video a while ago showing a, you know, specific storyline where I think Eclipsio was the bad guy. And in that particular storyline, you got to see a lot of the Suicide Squad members and the Justice League collaborate. Amanda Waller being the mastermind, the Batman of this particular set of characters, threw them into that situation to be able to force a collaboration with the Suicide Squad at the end of the day because there was a bigger threat that she knew they could only overcome if they worked together. But I'm going to keep my theories very light for now, or maybe I may have already dropped a bunch of them too heavy. And in the next set of videos, we're going to be looking very, very deeply at some of these different possibilities, because I think it's going to be interesting. Um, you know, you already have the different elements that show you that the Suicide Squad is going to be able to be successful. But those elements are not simple. The elements are basically strong Justice League type or anti-heroes or Justice League characters or anti-heroes that are also very powerful in their own right. I think Green Lantern looks like an ally from what I'm seeing here. I didn't necessarily pay too much attention, uh, but it seems like he does have a specific role that he'll play. But we'll talk about that in a separate video. I don't want to go ahead and do too much at the moment. So thanks so much for watching this video. No, I think I think he's like an enemy. <laughs> I mean, look at the way it is. But we'll talk about that later um, in another one. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys this time and audience. And uh, hopefully we'll talk pretty soon in another one. Peace out.